Today's video is about Pinterest inspired woven art. Hi everyone, if you have not seen me before, my name is Paja and I make you by home decor videos. Those videos are usually inspired from some high end decor websites or their stores. Sometimes I go to the thrift store and get inspired and I try to make my own DIY home decor. If you like to watch those type of videos, you will definitely enjoy the videos that I posted on my channel. Don't forget to check out other videos on my channel right after this video. And let me get started with today's video. Today's video is about Pinterest inspired woven art. I came across this woven art that you can actually make from frame and some yarn. Basically, you have to grab a frame from a thrift store or you can buy a brand new one and use yarn or from you can use twine as well. And then you can just make a pattern according to your choice. And there you have your art done. I made this video about six months ago and I didn't have a time to post it. I didn't have time to add it. So I'm posting it right now. I hope you will enjoy. And let's make it started with today's video. So it all started with my trip to Valley Village. So basically I went there to get grab some of my products that I needed and that was for a different project and if you have visited my channel you probably know that I enjoy doing thrift flips a lot. So that's when I found this frame which I found a good deal for seven dollars. It was really nice quality of plywood that I was getting. So I got it home. It was, wasn't a bad deal for seven dollars. So I came home spray painted that in white spray paint and at the same time I made a little bit, little bit of mess because my drop sheet actually got stuck to that because I was having it dry outside and it was a little bit windy that day so I had to deal with that. Uh, there was a little bit of extra work but that was done. After that, on the second day, um, since I live in a rented apartment, I really don't have a space or a platform that I can work upon that. So I had to empty out my study table and I just wrapped that up in the extra piece of paper so I don't make a mess because I was going to use a lot of hot glue and yarn and also some of the glue, the scissors, so I didn't want to make it messy. So I covered that up in the extra piece of paper, I got the frame inside, as you can see it was nice white color perfectly coated in two coats of spray paint. The reason I did the spray paint because when I put the yarn or the woven yarn on top of that, there might be a chance there will be some gaps in between. So I didn't want it to show up. The gaps need to be show up in a different color than the yarn. So just the white color was the safer side. And I also got this yarn from Dollar Store. This yarn was about $4 for, I guess, five yards. It wasn't a bad deal at all. The only thing that it was stretchy yarn. My strong recommendation is to get the yarn that's not, not so stretchy, more like a cotton yarn. This was a synthetic one, but um, yeah, like I already got it, so I had to work upon work with that. But if you are buying a new one, my strong recommendation is to get the yarn that doesn't stretch at all. That will make your work so much easier, it will look nice and neat. And then I started to make strings. Now, out of four sides of this frame, I had to put strings, I had to attach strings on two sides and then I can overlap just like pie. So I measured the width of the frame that I had and next step was to cut similar strings about 50 to 70 of them in the same size. That was a little bit of a lengthy process that I can think, but I enjoyed it thoroughly because at that point I wasn't making this video for YouTube. I was just enjoying it on my own. I was just trying out different things. So I was recording for sure, but I didn't, I did not intend to make it look organized. And please don't mind my hands. I was working with turmeric the other day, so I have my hands yellow and pale. Once I had them all cut, as you can see here, I started to sticking it up on the back of my frame by keeping the good amount of distance. It doesn't it doesn't really look like too close or not too far. And I think 
this is the easiest way to work with that i think you need to have all the strings cut in advance in order for you to work with it smoothly and yeah this was this is how it was looking like after it was done with one side now the major part is on the other side now the other side that i was going to work with the longest side so i was supposed to cut the strings that is that long but it wasn't great in numbers so for this side i had to cut probably 30 or 35 strings and that was a little bit easier part because i did that before and but by the time i get done with that i was so tired so i had to leave the project aside and on the next day i started working on the part that actually makes the pattern so since my yarn was stretchy it was difficult I'm not gonna lie but it is what it is i had to work through that because i only got everything i was halfway there so there was no way i was gonna go back as you can see here it's pretty stretchy i can stretch as much as i want but if i stretch i had to make sure that every string is stretched on to the equal level so that was the part that needed extra attention so if you don't get the stretchy yarn that's way easier for you to work with that because you are not stressing out on stretching each yarn to the same, same level so that's that so on the longer side on the length side i attach each string from side from side to side with the help of glue gun and then i started making patterns from the other side now in this i did not plan to go with any specific design i was working at my pace i was trying out different patterns but the only thing is that i was trying different patterns with the six string so each, sec each section that I'm working on that has six strings in it so that looks a little bit uniform it will it will look a little even and and I did not group them all together in the first go I made the pattern first and then, and then I realized what kind of changes I want to make what kind of design I want to work with and evaluated the pattern and that's when in the end part I stick the width side of the strings This is definitely a process that you have to go through but i was as i said that i was taking my time i took two to three days to make one art usually when i make this kind of projects i'm making just for youtube i have stopped enjoying that but at, while i was making this i made sure that i enjoyed the process i was enjoying it thoroughly and in the end i sticked all of them together and my woven art was absolutely ready it wasn't looking good as the pinterest but i was so glad that i worked upon that because it was the longest project i've ever done in a long time I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe onto my channel. That will help me to grow my YouTube community. So once again, thank you so much. And I will see you in the next video.